99% of pro players use this one setting. And yes, I'm not even exaggerating. And this is a setting that's been in Call of Duty now for a very long time. And of course, they use it for a good reason, and you should be too. Now, you wonder how pro players sometimes have that snap ability of basically snapping on targets, be able to be very consistent with their shot, and almost never missing like that. A setting that has helped tremendously is the one and only dynamic. Now, you've probably heard of it, or you've probably been using it in the past Call of Duties, but you're able to do things like that, which basically, if you do not know what the dynamic does, it's think of it as a little slope right so at first it slows slightly slows down and then it speeds up very quickly and towards at the end of the slope it slows down again a little bit so again slow to fast to slow so this is good when you know you're moving your stick really quickly to snap on somebody because you're able to control your aim when you finally snap on your target so do not use default do not use linear, even though some people may recommend it or say, hey, it's actually decent. Maybe it isn't bad. I'll tell you right now, dynamic is the way to go. And it's what 99% of pros are using. And it's why you see them snapping, you know, the best players in the world, the Dashy, Celium, Simp, Stump, even though he's retired, you name it. These guys are using dynamic for a good reason. And of course, you should be too. But quick little tip, since dynamic kind of speeds it up, and speeds up your sensitivity in a way that means you can play on a lower sense and you don't have to overdo it so i really don't recommend you pairing up dynamic with a very high sensitivity i will say eight should be the highest i'm currently on seven seven point nine and if i was still in the pro league i would probably go back down to six six one but seven seven point nine just gives me that having you know a little bit more fun and still able to snap very precisely and again, dynamic is allowing me to do this. If I were to turn off dynamic right now, I would not be as precise and I would definitely miss some bullets. So enough shooting bots. Let me show you how it plays out in game and even give you guys some tips. So very quickly to change this setting, go to your controller settings, go to aiming. And you want to go down to aiming advanced settings, go down to aim response curve type and make sure it's on dynamic. This is going to make a huge difference. And if you want to lower your custom sensitivity per zoom, I have it on 77.9. That's going to help me when I'm ADS to be more precise. Here we go. We got a kill confirmed and a lot of enemies on the map. And I'm going to show you guys why this thing is incredible. Now you see some of the best players in the world play. Oh, that snap right there. And you see, you know, not only pro players, but even the good players to get into your lobby. And you're like, wow, these guys are snapping on me. You know, they're really on point. It almost looks like aimbot and i'll tell you right now dynamic is part of that reason it's not just because they're really good it's not because they mastered their aim dynamic is helping them achieve that and that's why you must use this setting as well Got behind me not the wheezy good map laser and you can move your stick around very quickly notice it doesn't matter the snap is there I, when I tell you the snap is there, the snap is there. I can spin in circles and still be precise because that's what dynamic does. Wow. AFK players. I mean, we'll take that. Huh. Snap on that guy. Snapped. AFK. Snap. We'll snap on the AFK player. Love those. Drop a like if you love AFK, guys. I know you do. It's free kills, free headshots. I already got gold on this AMS, so not really tripping about it you can see just for me playing shooting around kind of spinning in circles how precise i'm able to be not even a problem turning on people and i'm telling you a big reason is because of what dynamic does it plays a big role i'm not going to take full credit even though i am a good player and i do have good aim and this is a setting i wanted to highlight and i've talked about it in previous youtube videos and in my settings video but I don't think people truly understand how freaking good dynamic is. So make sure you get the right sensitivity down. Make sure you practice. Dynamic at first might feel a little bit odd, a little bit hard to control. And I understand it's going to be, you know, it's faster in a way. It's, it's, I will say it's a more complex. It's just a higher, you know, skill ceiling setting. You know what I'm saying? The average person, or if you've never played on dynamic, it's going to feel off. You're probably going to play as good at first. But I'll tell you right now, this will raise your skill gap. This will make you a better player. And there's a reason why majority, and I mean 99% of pro players use this. There's maybe one person, two max in the CDL that doesn't use this currently. 
and it's why they've been using it for a very long time. It's just so freaking good, and you're almost at a disadvantage if you're not using it, especially if you're in a very aggressive player. The only time, you know, you can maybe say, oh, maybe a CDL player doesn't use it, is if someone is literally a main AR that sits back in their base and just... <laughs> and the beautiful part about dynamic, you don't have to overdo your sensitivity because it basically speeds up your sense for you to snap while still playing on a lower sense. That's why, again, pros play on 661 or able to play on 6-7 max because dynamic speeds it up for them. They can still snap just like that. And 7-7 seven, seven isn't that fast. But, you know, Dynamic makes it look faster than what it is. This has been an absolutely free lobby. Just dominating it. Not a problem. Late at night. Sick. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do best. There's a lot of kill confirm tags over here. And we're definitely going to be highlighting some more tips, tricks, and getting you guys the best settings and tips you guys should be doing in-game to get better. Oh my god, I haven't been using my streaks at all. Probably should call these things in. Game's almost over. Here we go. Let's finish this right here. Got the, got the heli up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Too easy. That shit was too easy. Too easy, brother. I agree. Too easy. Too easy. All right, guys. Today's video has been a little bit more simple, but trust me, change this one setting and it will change your life. Understand dynamic. Understand the other things I talked about and you will become a better player. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be posting some more YouTube videos, and I'll see you in the next one.